जय माँ जय माँ माउंट कोयलास इन द हिमालय इज एन एंशियन रिलीजियस प्लेस व्हिच इज कंसीडर्ड एज द एबोर्ड ऑफ लॉर्ड शिवा इट इज सिचुएटेड इन टिबेट अंडर चाइना and its height is about 22200 feet that means 6770 meters above the sea level you find here the almora ashram of manuvi inside and outside also however mars journey towards mount koilas it happened on 13 june 1937 Sima Anumai accompanying with Baba Bhonala ji Bhai ji Jodhishtandra Rai Guru Priya ji Sami Akhandananda ji along with few other devotees started their journey via Nainital and Ranikhet arrived at Almora Beautiful Almora of the Great Himalayan range is at high altitude of 5387 feet or 1642 meter the entire belt having spiritual vibration with divine power where one can do sadhana means meditation for gaining his or her siddhi however ma with her group stayed there in the nanda devi temple on her journey to holy mount kailas the beautiful kailas you see here the himalayan range the scenic beauty mars entourage reached the sacred manasarovar on 6 july 1937 this is inside almora ashram the belongings were to manmi however baba bhonanath and bhai ji after taking a bath in that lake received sandas mantra by ma on her own and ma changed their original names to their monastic names like bhuranaji was named as sami tibbatananda tirtha and bhai ji was named as sami mounananda parvat however from manasarovar they proceeded to holy kailas and reached the place called bund b u n d at the foot hill of kailas everybody was charmed seeing its wonderful surrounding hills carved beautifully around the mount kailas forming a huge natural gauri pit around it gauri pit is considered as the seat of goddess gauri wife of lord shiva in which the shiva lingam remains fixed and the channel and and the channel around uh, there meets the purpose of draining the water poured on the deity ma said that after arriving here one feels one feels as if one has entered into the paradise from the place of bund they started parikramas going around the peak of the holy peak Koilas completing it in 3 days her journey and reached the place Gauri Kund on 11 July 1937 which is situated at the height of about 22000 feet all the pujas rituals and offerings to Koilas were performed only at this place mas entourage returned via the raksas talao mas entourage returned via the raksas talao route after about one month's journey they arrived back at almora on 10th august 1937 you find the scenic beauty of the himalayan range
Yasem Abdul Jana Al Mola. Mawit Bola Dabaji Kia. This is Vaiji Jyotish Chandurai, very close to Ma, more than her brother. He was so much close with Ma, with her every two programs. Jai Ma. This is Manas Sarabhar. Om Namah Sivaya Namah. Om Namo Sivaya Namo Om Namo Sivaya Namo This is the peak of Kailas mountain There are so many temples in the name of Shiva like Kedarnath and on and others and in the name of Vishnu Deva that is Bodhinath, very famous in the Himalayan range. Background music by Pandit Acharya of Mahandimi Asitam Haridhar, Jogas Acharya is singing here. Beautiful scenic beauty of the Himalayan range, like a paradise. The beautiful scenic beauty of the sky in the Himalaya. This is Badina temple. Many foreigners used to come here and worshiping. Ma is decorated as a Shiva by her devotees. Ma is decorated as a Shiva by her devotees. Background music by Acharya Jugesh, Pundit Acharya Jugesh, who is the teacher at Mahandami Temple at Haridhar. Ma with her husband and Jyotishtha Bhaiji here. Ma with her husband Bhuranath Babaji and Jyotishtha Bhaiji, Ma with Bhaiji. However, in the presence of Ma and Bhuranath Baba and others, Bhaiji Yudhishthundra Rai breathed his last on 17th August 1937, just after seven days of returning from Koilas to Almora due to high fever after a long journey. He was 58. Bhaiji's Holy remains were placed 
in Samadhi at a place called Patal Devi in Almora. Later on, Almora Ashram was built there in 1943. Ma's birth anniversary was celebrated at the new Almora Ashram. Bhaiji wrote a many books on Ma, like Mother has revealed to me, Mayar Katha, Sadhvani, etc. Jai Ma. Jai Ma. Jai Ma. The background music is sang by Ma Numi herself. A child offering flowers to Manvi. Ma with Bhaiji. Bhaiji was as like as her brother and more than her own brother. Judith Nandarai was always with program with Ma touring everywhere in India and wrote many books on Manvi. He was a government officer also. This is Almora Seni Beauty. You can find Ma Ashram at Almora. Very beautiful place for meditation. Ma Ashram Almora. The background music is sang by Ma Nui and her devotees. Jayama. Jayama. Ma with Bhaiji. This is Atmananda. Miss Blanca came from Austria and met with Ma Numi at Almora at first. In 1943, Atmananda was named by Mandumi. She was Miss Blanca from Austria. First visited Ma at Almora. Almora is a very divine power place. Many foreigners met Mandumi and spent whole life with Mandumi. Austrian theosophist Miss Blanca, who after was became Sami Atmanando, miraculously visited Ma at Almora in 1943 when she was travelling at Almora. This is Atmanando with Ma at Rupta Vasamba Baranasi. This is Atmananda, Miss Blanca at Almora with some associates. This is Kalanmar Ashram where Atmananda spent whole life and wrote many books on Ma and me. This is upon that old age in 1980 at Kalanmal Asam Kutia. The scenic beauty of Almora. Now, encountering bliss on Manumi, written by Milita, Miss Milita Massman of German, uh, and she was a novelist. She also first met. Mandumi at Almora and she was a Hitler, uh, I mean, women propaganda uh, leader during Hit Hitler Holocaust. Afterwards, she left the party, the Nazi party she left and fled to Afghanistan and from Afghanistan to, she say, came to India and miraculously visited Mandumi and served Manumi whole life along with Miss Blanca at Kalan Mankotia. This is military mass man at old age in 1980. This is Kalan Mankotia. German ex Nazi woman leader also miraculously got Darshan of Ma at Almora in 1960 when she was travelling at Almora. 
So both of them were blessed by Mahanumi and wrote books on Mahanumi and have been highlighted with the devotees of Mahanumi in the world. So whoever came in contact Mahanumi for the once, he or she has been delighted. Himalayan range of Almora, beautiful scenic beauty. This is inside of Mahanumi Ashram. Many devotees used to go there and meditate. The bedroom of Mahanumi. Jai Ma, Jai Ma, Jai Ma. Jai Ma, and we must remember and more. Now we will find another legendary of Indian classical dance, Pandit Ravi Shankar. Now here, Sitarist and her brother Uda Shankar with George Harrison, great Indian classical dancer Uda Shankar Ji. And here, Pandit Ravi Shankar, uh, great Sitarist of India, master of the Sitar, Pandit Ravi Shankar here. And he made performance. This is Uday Shankar, his brother. Pandi Ravi Shankar made performance with pop song leader George Harrison also. Here Uday Shankar with his troops conquered all over the world. Indian classical dance he highlighted all over the world. Pandi, sorry. Uda Shankar dancer, classical dancer Uda Shankar, Indian pride. Classical dancer Uda Shankar and his brother Pandit Ravi Shankar as a satirist. Also glorified by Mahanumi. They were blessed and they were disciples of Mahanumi. The Almora branch of the dance center run by world famous classical dance dancer Uda Shankar and his brother Pandit Ravi Shankar, the world famous Sital Mastro, along with their family members and their students became devotees of Ma Anunmui. Pop song master Harrison George also participated with Sitaris Pandit Ravi Shankar. Afterwards, Sri Sri Anunmui Vidyapit, a residential educational institute as conceived by Bhaiji was established there with Vedic Rishikul traditions along with modern system of education. One more ashram of Ma was built there at Dhaul China in Almora in 1957. Poster stamps were published by Government of India, the name of Uday Shankar. Jayama, Jayama, please share this video and subscribe this channel which will be notified of 
माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो जय मा जय मा जय मा जय मा